guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Star Fields. If you're new here, I'm an autism mom, and me and my mom have been on our Start Solutions journey for over 87 days. I'm down 16.2 pounds, and I'm going to show you what we're buying at the grocery store to stay on track with our Start Solutions weight loss journey. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. <laughs> Great guys, and get ready to dig in. Some work today, y'all. <laughs> Finished at 8.90 speed, burnt 621 calories. Oh yeah, take care of the caregiver. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. We are quickly get ready to run into Aldi and do a huge Aldi haul. I think we'll probably end up spending about at least $200. I know I will for myself because this is our monthly Aldi haul. And we try to go at least once a month um, to get the major things and then just have to do like little pop-ins um, at the grocery store. We're going to show you a Healthy Start Solutions haul. And um, I'll video as much as I can. I only I'll have a... smothered at that time. She gets... <laughs> Did I try to get this out? I don't know why she's healthy. Healthy haul from the all these stuff. Oh Lord, we gotta hurry up and get in here. But anyway, I want to show you. I want to give you guys one tip. If you are an Aldi shopper, and that is these laundry baskets. You guys see these laundry baskets? Instead of throwing all of your groceries in the cart and having to bag them up at the end. Throw them in laundry baskets. I bought five laundry baskets with me today, and this is a great, great tip that'll save you a lot of time at the end. Okay, so hope that tip helps you guys. Let's go shopping! Woo -woo -woo. Alrighty friends, we made it home with our groceries. These baskets are full of fresh veggies from Aldi. So I just want to show you some of the things that we purchased because we're completely out. Today we ran out of potatoes, we were out of bananas, we were out of onions. So you guys can see we stocked up on onions. Mommy got some cauliflower, we got some spring mix. I got some fresh pears and we got oranges and lemons and celery i bought lime. celery too so hopefully we're gonna have to cook something a couple pots mommy got limes, limes nectarines, and nectarines. And oh apples this is a great example of fruits that you can still buy that are in season in september of course we live in florida so these are some beautiful beautiful honey crisp apples mommy got some nectarines they look really good i've got some fresh some pears, we've got oranges, you guys see those, I got some, oh, there's an earring, I've got some green grapes here, so we're going to put all these up in the refrigerator, um, you can see pears, and also we got some chopped kale, which I always love some fresh kale, y'all know that, so I got some fresh kale, two bags. I got some spring mix. I got some fresh Brussels sprouts. You guys can see those. So we did very, very well. We did get some Twizzlers <laughs> for, Gabe, for, for Gabe for his therapy. Because those are good reinforcers for him. So, um, but we got red, yellow, and orange peppers, a little bag of those little mini peppers. We got some little potatoes that can go in a, a big pot of soup or beans. 
We've got some sweet potatoes. I think we ended up with about five bags of sweet potatoes. Um, and these sweet potatoes, you guys, were very, very inexpensive. The rest of potatoes were only $4.49 for a 10-pound bag. And the sweet potatoes were $1.99. So that's a great price. Mm -hmm. It's so inexpensive. So this breaks down all of the myths that it costs so much money to eat healthy because it doesn't. I also picked up a thing of whole wheat flour from Target. We got our vegetable broth from there. We got our vegetable broth from there. I got about eight of them. I also picked up some more brown rice. So, and of course, you guys, I picked up a whole bunch of bananas. Oh, I was all out of bananas. That's how I knew I really needed to go to the store. I have no bananas. I have no potatoes. Some more tomatoes. We got some banana peppers, you guys. And the prices are just so, so good. Got a couple of cucumbers. I try not to buy too many of them. So we got, yeah, I only bought two, so hopefully, hopefully we use them all, because I just threw two in the trash. Here's some baby spinach, okay, so we got baby spinach, we got kale, we got celery, we got so much stuff, and I got my baby, I got some more oatmeal, so I think we've had plenty of oatmeal, mm -hmm. and the, my favorite place to buy maple syrup is Aldi, and I'm so glad I've got the last two. So I was so glad. I think the maple syrup is only $5.79 at Aldi. And then I got two things of these dates because they have been really good to me. I've been enjoying these at night with a snack, like with a cup of tea. If you have a sweet tooth, these medjool dates are just the best ever. So I just have to be careful what gave me to take the, the uh, pit out of them because he likes them too. Mm -hmm. I also want to show you guys the... Rotel tomatoes we get from Aldi. This is, they're called diced tomatoes, but we use these a lot in our soups. And then we like to have our cream corn on top of our potatoes. Gaby loves cream corn on his potatoes and he eats them really, really well like that. And it's great to throw them in a pot of soup. So we got a bunch of canned goods. And in an upcoming video, we're going to show you how you can just take two or three canned goods and make a whole meal. So make sure you subscribe so you won't miss that. So applesauce for some of our baking goods. We've got vegetable broth for our soups. And then we got some watermelon. Now I know watermelons are going out of season. Mm -hmm. However, we're hoping that these ones are good. Oh, the four things they can get since it's uh, fall season. Uh, we don't know if these watermelons are gonna be over ripe or not, but you can always get your apples, your oranges, and your bananas. Those are guaranteed across the board. Year all round. year round. All right. Yeah. And then nectarines, what about those? Nectarines. Maybe till the end of September. Till the end of September. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we got pears, too. Pears are good yeah. all year. And pears, what about grapes? Yeah. And grapes are pretty good all year, too, depending on where you get them. Okay. I love Costco the best. Okay. They got the best grapes. And all these, too. Okay. Depending. Yeah. But I like cherries, too. So sometimes you can get cherry, but that's seasonal, too. All right. Cherries. And pears all year? Pears all year. Okay. Okay, guys, so you heard mommy, apples, oranges, bananas, and pears all year long for fresh fruits. Now, this is looking a little light on the inside. Mm -hmm. Let's get a taste test and see. Feels a little overripe there. Mm. Let's see, we already got overripe in the refrigerator. Yeah, we're going to throw that one out. Mm. Let's taste that piece. Mm. How's that taste? They pretty good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We love watermelon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just really grew up on watermelon. Living in Kansas, watermelon. it was always something my grandma had. So, um, anyway, guys, this is our Aldi haul. I hope this gives you guys some ideas on ways that you can stay on track with your Start Solutions plan for maximum weight loss, eating some delicious, healthy fruits and fresh vegetables okay so you guys know me i am the queen of frozen vegetables and i get my frozen vegetables from costco but my fresh veggies i love to get them at aldi the price point is amazing the quality is usually amazing and i just really enjoy getting my fruits and vegetables from there and you guys see those sweet potatoes uh, i believe that's a three pound bag of sweet potatoes for a dollar 99 
a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes for $4.49. That's a great, great, great price, okay? So let, let me know in the comment section where you like to get your fresh veggies from. We can see if we have some of those stores here in Florida. And um, we'll see you in the next video, okay? We're gonna put all this stuff up. We got so much groceries to try to fit it in this ice box. This is about $400 worth. Now all of it's not uh, start solutions because I remember I got meat eaters in my house, <laughs> okay? My whole family is not on the plan, just me and mommy. And this is real life, you guys. It's not uncommon to have some families that have a vegan lifestyle and then others that still like the meat. So sometimes you have to, you have to accommodate for everybody. So this is about $400 worth of groceries, but I think we did really, really good in our start solutions part of it.